Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about FX, the first one, and this movie came out in 1986, and I was not a fan of this movie, unfortunately. I thought it was pretty boring, pretty generic by the numbers, and offered me nothing. Where this movie falls flat for me is its characters and a story that I found to be incredibly predictable, and I was always one step ahead of it, and if... You're not ahead of it, then you're going to enjoy the movie. But you, if you are, then you're not going to like the movie. And I was just waiting for something interesting to happen. And that never happened. And I didn't like the characters. I didn't find them interesting. And our main character, he's he's a director. He's an effects person. He has backgrounds in it. And that's how he got started in his movie career, I guess. Not the actor, but the character. That's his character. That's literally all that he has going for him, is that he has an effects background, and he uses that to his advantage, and that's it. And this movie is probably one of the most boring films I've seen in a while, and I could barely pay attention to it. I was trying my hardest not to fall asleep, but... This movie is just so boring, so slow, horribly paced, and there's nothing interesting ever going on, and the only way I was able to watch it was if I was just laying down, like on the side, and just have my eyes moving, in, and I just, I couldn't move the rest of my body, because I was, like, falling asleep while I was watching it, and I, <laughs> I almost pulled the trigger, I almost fell asleep or I almost considered turning it off and I was this close from turning the movie off 45 minutes in. I was so bored. I knew exactly what it was going to be and I knew there were going to be absolutely no surprises whatsoever in the movie and I was right. It was exactly what I thought it would be. It's very simple. And it just does exactly what you think it would. And the action in this movie, it's not impressively shot or really fun in any way. It's just, oh, this happened and it was filmed and that's what we got. Next scene. Exactly the same. Next scene. Exactly the same. Next scene. Exactly the same. Except for maybe some action. And that's the whole movie. It's just characters walking around. Some dialogue, some action that uh, has no weight to it because I don't like any of the characters because they're all underdeveloped. And that's literally the whole movie. I was never clear as to what the motivation for the villain was or I just forgot. Either way, it didn't work for me. It was just really boring and I wanted to shut the movie off 20 minutes in. And that's about where I kind of checked out emotionally. I was like... This is not going to offer me anything. This is just a big waste of time. And I sat through the whole thing because I was going to review it. And that's the only reason I sat through it. And the music choices it did not complement the scene at all. I don't even remember the music at all. It doesn't even stand out. I've completely forgotten about the music. I just know that it wasn't memorable. That's all I can say about it. And the only entertaining parts of this movie were just uh, moments where it was funny bad like when a character dies I'm not even gonna say who but there's a scene in this movie where a character dies and he comes out of nowhere and I thought that was pretty funny and there are two shots in the movie where I noticed the cameraman and that was pretty funny and that was about it the rest of the movie was just a snooze fest I never wanted I never want to watch this movie again and I would not recommend that you check it out, unfortunately. It was just one of the most boring things I've ever seen. I know I keep saying the same thing over and over again, but it really is very boring to me. And there isn't really much to talk about because it's just very predictable and nothing really happened. And with all that being said, I'm going to give FX a 3 out of 10. 
Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of FX and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Foley Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Bridget Jones's Diary. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.